honestly say it's probably the worst day at work I've had so far. This is the outfit today. So it's now midnight and Georgia convinced me to go with her to McDonald's. I'm home and I have some stuff to show you. Good morning friends, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today it's Monday, it is 7 o'clock, I just finished getting ready for work. I have to leave at 8 so I have about an hour to get stuff done. I'm probably just going to work on editing and doing some YouTube work. But it's the start of a new week and I have some things, I don't want to call them goals, but just things I want to focus on more this week. Because they're not really like things to achieve, but just things that I want to prioritise. One of those is wedding planning. I just need to get more stuff done. Liam and I are having like a meeting, which is basically just us hanging out tomorrow night and doing a bunch of planning, so that'll be good. But I want to do a bunch of stuff throughout the week, not just tomorrow. Another thing I want to focus on this week is getting back into my walks. So I started this last week, but I want to go on more walks after I finish work before it gets dark. So I'm going to try and do that a lot more this week. And the last thing is reading. These are actually all the same like priorities that I had last week. And I reached some of them, but not all of them. And reading is one that I've been really enjoying over the last week. And I want to make sure I keep implementing that into my daily routine because I just find it so relaxing and so, I don't know, just like restful, I guess. And it's just time for me so I guess it's just a self-care thing that I can do every day that I really enjoy so those are my priorities and my things I want to focus on this week but I'm gonna go get some stuff done and I will talk to you guys later First day of the work week is over. Honestly, it was a hard day today. I don't know what was going on, but the kids were not wanting to deal with me today. Um, and I heard a lot of the teachers say the same thing. So I don't know what was going on. Something's in the water. <laughs> One of the teachers is like, is there like a full moon or something? Because the kids were just crazy today and so exhausting. But I've come home and I'm gonna pop my shoes on and go for a walk, just a little one, because I, I'm exhausted. Honestly, today's probably the worst day at work I've had so far. It wasn't awful, but it was just like, I almost cried in one of my classes. I actually almost cried because the kids were just not listening. In saying that, there are many times when kids do not listen, but there were just too many times today and it almost pushed me over the edge, almost. Not quite, but almost. Kids can be really mean. I'm sure that if you work with kids or if you have your own kids, you'll probably know that. They can just have their days and that's okay, everyone has those days. And some kids are just not emotionally mature enough to be able to handle some of the intense emotions that they feel. So I understand that. And obviously that's something that they will learn with time and I just need to remember that as someone in their life. I just don't need to take it personally and that's okay. I'm gonna go for my walk, gonna come home, maybe work on a thumbnail, and then we're hanging out with the girls tonight. I'm so excited. George and I are having dinner with Izzy and Skay. If you guys are OG subscribers, you will remember Izzy and Skay. They were our old housemates and also our best friends from high school. I honestly miss living with them so much. It was so fun. I love living with George now as well, but it was just so fun to live in a group full of your high school friends. Um, we lived with them for a year and a half, so now they're off doing their own thing. Izzy's actually moved to Sydney as a paramedic, so she's in town for a few days, and we have tried so hard to organize a dinner with her, and I literally can't wait to see her. I don't think I've seen her since before Easter, so I can't wait. Walk is done, made myself a coffee and have a water. Got my bevies and I'm sitting back at my desk gonna tick off some things on my to-do list for this afternoon. I actually don't have too much. Thank you to my morning self that edited for an hour before work because now I don't have as much to do. Today, we have to, I finished editing this morning but I still need to compress the video and schedule it for tomorrow. So let's do that right now. I need to work on my budget because I just have to make some adaptions and what are my plans? That's it. And then I could probably read or something. This is crazy. The riveting life of Rachel Catherine. Woohoo! I'm just watching Connor's weekly vlog. I'm almost finished actually. And I've just been doing some stuff in my bullet journal. I'm trying to do just like a, kind of like a yearly overview, but only with the rest of the year and January as well, just because it fit in nicely. And then I'm just going to write some random events up there. But yeah, I'm just kind of organizing some stuff stuff that's happening but I need to go get changed for dinner. I could totally just wear what I wore to work today. Do I want to be bothered choosing a new outfit? I don't know man. Yeah I think I'll just go with that. Oh maybe I'll just wear a long sleeve shirt instead of a t-shirt though. I'll show you guys what I end up choosing. <laughs> reference, reference photo. Beautiful. Squad trip to Kmart. How you going, Izzy? <laughs> Tell the camera that you missed him. I missed you. <laughs> Queensland is underrated, guys. 
Don't leave. Never leave. Don't leave. Just got home and realized I didn't show you guys my outfit and I told you I would. But I just ended up wearing what I wore to work today, except I wore a little cropped long sleeve instead of what I was wearing to work, which was just a different white top. Um, just to be a little bit extra warm with the long sleeves and... I wore my Air Force Ones instead of the other white sneakers that I wore to work, but this is what I wore to dinner. It was so nice to see Izzy. Now that she lives in Sydney, we obviously don't get to see her very often at all. And since she's in the first year of being a paramedic, getting time off is super difficult, but so nice to see her. And of course, always good seeing Skay as well. But I'm gonna get in bed and read because that's all I do now. So love that. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday and this is my outfit for the day. I'm leaving for work in about 10 minutes, but I thought I'd quickly show you. But I'm wearing a thrifted sweater. Um, this was literally 50 cents from the clearance section of a thrift store I went to, which is insane. Some big W wide leg pants and my Supergas. So a pretty affordable outfit today, which is awesome. But I'm going to head off, enjoy my Tuesday, and I'll see you guys later. Hello friends, I just made it to work. I'm already exhausted and the day hasn't even started. It has been a big week so far. It's only Wednesday, but in saying that, tomorrow's Thursday and then the next day's Friday. So we're getting over that hump, you know? But it has just been, it has just been a rough week in terms of like behavior from students. They're just having a week. I don't know what's going on. I've heard so many of the grade five teachers say the same thing. So the last two days I've just come home exhausted. I'm hoping that today is not too bad, but we'll see. spot it's about 5 30 now obviously much later than when i talked to you last but i had a really good day today the kids were so much better today which honestly i'm just really thankful for kind of just let me breathe for a second i am a bit stressed about tomorrow because all of the grade five teachers have like a planning day tomorrow so there's going to be relief teachers in every classroom which is just going to be a nightmare they just love to push the boundaries when they have a relief teacher so i can only imagine how tomorrow is going to go but for now i'm just going to enjoy it my night and chill for a bit. I've actually had a really good afternoon. I went for a walk after I got home and for the first time in a long time, I actually wanted to do it. I was on my walk and I just really enjoyed it. And for a long time, I just haven't been enjoying my walks because I'm so exhausted by the time I get home and then going on a walk is the last thing I wanna do. But I know that once I get into the routine of it, it'll be so much easier. But today I really liked it. It was just, it was just nice. And I think that was partly because I wasn't so exhausted from the day being so hectic and partly because I had a really good podcast to listen to, partly because I chilled for a little bit at home before going for the walk. It was just a good combo. I also just booked Liam's birthday dinner, which will be on Sunday. He's got his 21st. Fun fact, Liam is actually younger than me. I don't think I've ever really told you guys that, but we were in the same grade at school because long story short, I moved up from Melbourne. Schooling's different. Ages of things is different. So we're in the same grade together, but he's a year younger than me. You'd never be able to tell and I always forget, but since he's celebrating his 21st this year, it's a bit funny because I'm 22. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, I booked the dinner for that which will be fun i do have to do a couple more emails i've done some wedding prep i've been emailing invoices back and forth messages back and forth getting quotes on things i think i mentioned this but liam and i sat down last night and basically just made a lot of decisions. So we didn't book a lot of things, but we made a lot of decisions. So we decided what we were doing for our honeymoon. We decided what we were gonna do for like photography and DJ and like a bunch of other things. So now I'm just kind of like picking up the pieces and following all of those things up. I'm gonna keep working on my computer and then I'll probably stop in about half an hour to go make some dinner. <laughs> I have my tea, I have my water, I have my book, I'm ready to hop into bed. I'm gonna pop this guy on charge. Charging my phone on the opposite side of the room has been game changing for me. A lot of people ask me how I can wake up at 5 a.m. every day and I would say that charging my phone on the opposite side of my room is one of the reasons why it's a lot easier. I wouldn't say it's easy to get up at 5 a.m. At least, maybe some people think it is. I don't personally find it like easy, but one way to make it way easier is definitely to have that distraction eliminated as well as all the screen time before bed eliminated. That's a huge thing. But I'm just gonna sit and read. I'm almost finished this book. I've still got a little bit left. I don't know if I'll finish it tonight, but I only bought this one last week. I did order some online. If they arrive this week, I'll show you guys. Otherwise, I'll show you next week which ones I picked up, but I'm excited. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday. So close to Friday, guys. So close. This is my outfit of the day. Little Superga white sneakers, a brand denim 
jeans. My shirt is from Ali. You can't really see it. And my jacket is from Kmart. Let me show you my shirt a little bit better. You still can't really see it very well. But it's like this little peplum top. And then it has a little tie at the back. It actually is very cute. And you just really cannot see it. And now you can just see the dust on the mirror. But it's got like elastic around here. And it's just a bit flowy. So... I thought it was nice. Good evening, friends. I have been wrapped up in this blanket, sitting at my computer for the past hour or two, just doing computer work, what's new. But I'm about to go and get ready to go see Liam. We're doing our Bible study tonight. So I'll show you guys the notes that I've taken. We're going through Luke together at the moment. I use Good Notes to take all of my notes about my Bible reading. So I color coordinate them. So Luke is yellow. And these are all the notes I've written so far. We're up to like chapter, we just finished chapter 21. So that's what we're going to chat about tonight, 20 and 21. Good morning, guys. It is Friday, which is so exciting. I feel like I say that every week. So I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record, but I just love Fridays because it means the weekend's coming. I just finished getting ready for work and I'm trying to get back into my Friday routine of getting a bunch of like household chores done in the morning. So when I finish work on a Friday, I'm like done with a lot of things and I can just relax. So I don't have to worry about that over the weekend. It's also Liam's birthday this weekend. So I've got a few birthday things happening. So in between those things, I want to be able to chill and spend time by myself and not be doing my washing and things like that. I'm now scheduling my decluttering video that's going up today. I already did all the thumbnail editing, exporting all of it. Um, so all I had to do was literally upload it and we're done. So that's another thing that I don't have to do this afternoon. Now to take care of my bedroom. It's not awful to be honest. It's just a few things that need to be put away. Mostly just this area. So let's get that done. I'm ready to go to work now. I got heaps of stuff done this morning, which is awesome. So tonight I can come home and chill mostly. There is, I think, one thing I wanna do for my YouTube work, but it should be pretty chill tonight, which will be great. This is the outfit today. I'm wearing Kmart jeans, Supergas, and this little Princess Polly knit. And I've just got a black long sleeve underneath. So just comfy and cozy today. It's a really rainy, miserable day. Hopefully wet weather lunch, because that means I don't have to go on duty. We'll see. It's now the weekend. I left my camera at home to charge during the day while I was at work. So here I am again. Looks like I haven't moved, but it has been a whole day. After work, I went and got some coffee from Zarafters, which was so good. A little Friday afternoon treat. And then I went to the shops to grab some stuff, some wedding stuff, actually. I am doing some DIYs, which I think I'm going to like film as I do them and then put them all into a video to show you guys. But I haven't done any yet. I'm just kind of getting some supplies. I'm not doing like a crazy amount of DIYs, but there are some things that I was like, I do not need to pay a lot of money for that when I know I can do that myself. I also just want to say I apologize in advance if you ever meet me in public because I'm such an awkward bean. I went to TK Maxx today and I met a subscriber there so shout out to Ashley if you're watching this. I'm so sorry that I probably sounded crazy and looks like I didn't know how to speak English. I don't understand when my brain will be able to kind of deal with those sort of situations but I feel like 50% of the time I'm fine and then the other 50% of the time I'm just like so not expecting to meet any subscribers even though I meet you guys on a weekly basis almost. So many times I'll meet someone they'll be like I watch your videos and I'm just like uh uh and brain is just like actually we're not going to give you anything to say right now you can just make some noises that's what you're going to do and it's just highly embarrassing so i apologize in advance but if you guys are ever nervous to come and speak to me don't be because i will probably make more of a fool of myself than you will so love that for me but i'm just chilling out for a little bit and then i'm gonna go to my parents house i usually have family dinners on monday night but because izzy was in town to visit on monday i asked if i could come tonight instead so friday night which will be good i'm really excited we're just getting takeaway which will be good mom said we're just getting pizza so excited for pizza so that's gonna be my friday night just hanging with the rents I also need to go film a portion of a video tonight. So that's the plan, friends. But for now, just chilling. Guys, I am so excited. I just ordered our bridesmaids dresses. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for them to come back in stock for over a month. I've been checking every single day because the website that we're getting them from doesn't give you like little alerts when they're back in stock. So I've been waiting for this day, literally praying. I was like, please, Jesus, please let them come back in stock because I was really scared that they wouldn't. And it's the only one that I found that I like and the girls like. So I'm really excited right now. So little wedding update. We got him. So it's now midnight and Georgia convinced me to go with her to McDonald's. So. 
What? Your outfit, I love it. Can you show them? Oh, she has beauty. This guy. This is my outfit. How did we end up here? I love my clothes. <laughs> Good morning guys and happy Saturday. I slept in really late this morning because George and I stayed up till like 12.30 or 1 a.m. yesterday. Just chatting and hanging out. We've both had a really busy week so it felt like the first time we'd been able to sit down and just hang out. So that was really nice. But of course that means I slept in, which is what weekends are for, so that's totally fine. But today is gonna be pretty exciting. I am going to leave actually really soon and go pick up my mum and then we're gonna go do some wedding planning things. Well, we're gonna go have lunch together and then we're gonna go do some wedding things. It's starting to come together in my head. Obviously the more you organize, the more you can kind of picture what the day will be like in your head. And so I'm getting to a point where I'm like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be really beautiful. Like I'm really excited. We still have a lot of time, so I'm not too worried, but today, mom and I are going dress shopping. So I actually have been dress shopping before, which I don't think I even told you guys. The girls did film while we were there and I might save that for a future video, but I'm not gonna make that video just yet. But today I'm going to my second dress shop. And honestly, I have a pretty specific idea of what I want now, now that I've actually been able to try on some dresses and get an idea of what I like and what I don't like. And there's one dress today that I really, 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 really wanna try on because it is exactly what I want, or at least I think it is. I really hope today we find the dress but I also don't want to settle for something that I don't love because everything we've booked so far I love like I am obsessed with everything we've booked so far and everything we've planned and so to me the dress is like a semi big deal it's not the biggest deal to me but it's also quite important so I want to love it so mum what did we just do let's say yeah we just, well, no, I was going to say we just bought a wedding dress. We didn't, Rachel. What are we? I got a wedding dress. <laughs> well, ordered it in. And hopefully they just need to confirm yeah. that everything's all good. So they're confirming in a few days. But other than that, we got a dress. And I love it's it. done. I love it. We're in the process, guys. Tick it off. So exciting. morning guys it is Sunday and I am yet to actually talk to you even though I've filmed a few clips this morning but it is Liam's birthday today which is so exciting I've had a pretty slow morning I'm seeing him later today he's got some other stuff that he's doing this morning I'm just cooking myself some breakfast it's literally 10 30 which is so late for me to be having breakfast I'm just making myself some eggs on toast Super simple, super easy. It's a really miserable rainy day here. So Liam and I's plans for this afternoon was to go for a big long walk, which hopefully we'll still do as long as it's not pouring. And then we're going out for a little fancy dinner, which will be really nice, a little date night. Also, I apologize that you've probably seen this jumper like all week, but I've only worn it for a couple of hours each day after finishing work and coming home or something. So I want to get a few wears out of it. Is that the right sentence? I want to wear it a few times before I wash it. But it's from Nasty Gal, if you're wondering. But it's so comfy and cozy. I've had it for a while, so I don't know if they still have this exact one, but I'm sure they have something similar if they don't. But I am going to enjoy my breakfast, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, guys, I am dressed for the day. I literally just chucked on jeans. I'm going to shower and properly get ready when I come home because Liam and I are going to go out for dinner, so I'll, like, get ready before that. But I'm going to go do my grocery shopping. I need to go to office work to get some stuff for work, just some teacher aidy things, and, yeah, maybe I'll give you a haul when I get home. I'm home, and I have some stuff to show you. So I had to get some stuff. Well, I didn't have to. I wanted to get some stuff for work. I work as a teacher aide and there are a few things that I've had in mind that I've wanted to get that will just really help me with what I do. I don't have to have all this stuff. You don't have to really have anything. Teachers should provide anything that you need or your school should provide any anything that you need. But I just, I don't know. I take pride in my job. I want to do the best that I can. I want to help kids learn the best that they can. And there are some things that I want to have that will help me be able to help them 
if that makes any sense. So, I'll show you. Some people might find this really boring, so feel free to skip ahead if you don't want to hear it. I will not be offended. Firstly, I just got two of these pencil cases, one smaller one, one bigger one. These are like a dollar or two, so I didn't want to get an expensive one just for work because I just don't need to. In the little one, I'm going to put all the stuff that I use on a regular basis, like pens and pencils and all of that sort of stuff. And in the bigger one, I'm going to put any kind of extra things like sticky notes, staplers, paper clips, all those things that I still use, but I don't need them all the time, but it'll just keep it all neat. And I have like a pigeonhole and stuff that I can put all of that stuff in and keep it all together. To go in that, I also got some glue sticks because I didn't have any. I also picked up some new whiteboard markers. These are the ones I've had before and I really, really like them. They're a more thin bullet tip marker, but I just really like them. The ones that I currently have, like my older ones, I'm going to keep at home and I'm going to take these ones to work with me because I often work on whiteboards with the kids. I have like an A4 size whiteboard that I take around to classrooms with me to help with any like one one-on-one -on -one teaching that I might be doing. I don't usually use the big boards that the teachers are using. I usually work with like smaller groups or one-on-one. -on -one. So it's nice to have my own little whiteboard that I can just kind of use to show them stuff because often it is so much easier to draw something or to write something down than to explain it. So for me to be able to have visuals to help them makes it easier for them, makes it easier for me and just gets better results all around. Similar to that, I bought some new highlighters. These are my favorite. I have used the Stablo Boss Originals for years. My mum got me onto them years ago and I've been using them ever since. They never run out. They never dry out. They're just the best thing ever. Um, however, it's easy to have some at work and some at home. So these ones are for home and the ones that I have currently, I'm just going to take to work because I don't really care if they get ruined, if they get lost, if kids mess them up, if they need to borrow them. But I'll keep these ones at home for me. I also just got a little whiteboard eraser to pop in that big pencil case. I also have this, which is just a maths grid book. I already have a bunch of notebooks that are like lined paper, but a lot of the time in maths, they use these, especially this term because they're doing symmetry and translations and all of those like shape kind of stuff. So it's really helpful to have this. This is another thing that I've wanted for a while that's going to be so helpful. Um, it's literally just a plastic clipboard. A lot of these things were really, really inexpensive, but I will keep my receipt so I can take it to my accountant so he can work all the tax stuff out. A lot of the time I'll be working outside the classroom with a group of kids just to get them like into a different environment so that they won't be distracted by other kids doing other things in the classroom. So it's really helpful for me to have something to lean on to write my notes and to write whatever I need to be writing. So... This will be good. I basically just carry a little canvas bag around with me all day and I'll keep all of this stuff in there. Stuff that's not work related. I needed to get a new aux cord and a little lightning to headphone jack because I lost mine. I literally don't know where they went. I think they must have fallen out of my car. So I picked up a new one of those. For my wedding binder, I just got some A4 sheet protectors, like the little like sleeves that you can put things into because now that things are starting to flow in, I need somewhere to put all that stuff and not everything is going to be put in the binder with like hole punches. Some stuff needs to have like a little sleeve. And another wedding thing is these. I got these place cards. They are plain white. Liam and I decided to go with plain white. They're like a linen-y, canvas-y kind of texture. The wedding is honestly ages away, but I just wanted to kind of tick it off my list. And since I was already at Officeworks and I'm not there very often, I just thought I would get them today and then I can honestly start working on them if I really wanted to because I'm just going to be doing that kind of stuff myself. I love doing calligraphy. I love doing all that stuff. So that's definitely a really cheap way to do it. But it's only 1.30, which is so nice. This day has gone really slow, which I appreciate so much. I love it when my days off go slowly. It doesn't happen very often. So I need to go shower and get ready for dinner tonight because I'm going to Liam's earlier. So I need to get ready now, even though we don't have dinner till six. I just got home and hopped into my pajamas, but I left my camera at home. Didn't take it with me, but we went and celebrated Liam's birthday. It was really nice. It was just us tonight. We went out to the boat shed, which is like a part of the regatta. If you are in Brisbane, super nice food, super beautiful place. So yeah, we just went and had dinner there. And we also went to the botanical gardens beforehand because that's like our favorite place to go ever. We are always there. Specifically, it's Liam's favorite and we just went for a walk there. It did get rained on a little bit. It literally hasn't rained all day and then it just started raining for the little portion of time that we were trying to go for a walk, but it was still so lovely. I do not know what happened to the end of this vlog, but apparently I don't have an outro, so here I am just ending off this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one very soon. Goodbye!